Today, we're going to look at fishing for answers. Remember when you were a kid and you needed your parents to sign off on something? Didn't you know the parent which most likely would say yes? Isn't that the one you went to? We still do that as adults. We draw friends and counselors to us that hopefully will tell us what we want to hear. Well, we're seeing this happen in 2 Kings chapter 1. There, King Ahaziah is seriously wounded. And so he sends a messenger to a pagan prophet to see if he's going to survive. But the prophet of God, Elijah, intercepts that messenger and says, go back to your king and say, because he's seeking from someone other than God, tell him he's going to die in the bed he's currently confined to. Well, this infuriates Ahaziah. It's not the answer he wanted. So he sends soldiers to arrest Elijah, and those soldiers are destroyed as a sign that God is with Elijah. He's still furious, the king is, so he sends more soldiers. Those soldiers are destroyed. And then he sends a third group of soldiers because he's not a very fast learner. But this time those soldiers ask for mercy from Elijah and he spares them and even goes back to the king with them. And when Elijah gets back to the king, he very simply restates the message he had said in the very beginning. No embellishment, just what he said in the beginning. So what happens? Well, Verse 17 of chapter 1 of 2 Kings tells us this. It puts it very simply, very plainly, very matter-of-factly. It says this, So Ahaziah died, just as the Lord had promised through Elijah. In other words, it happened just as God said it would. You and I, we are so prone to seek out anything and everything except God. We, we look for the stuff that will feed our ego rather than our soul. We fish for answers that we want rather than the ones we need. So this week, I encourage you, seek out God. Look to Him for answers. See what He wants to tell you to do. Even if it's not what you want to hear, I guarantee it will be better for you this week. God bless you. We'll see you next week.